Hey y'all, so today I am eight days away from top surgery and I'm actually kind of sad and not even really able to look forward to it right now and I feel pretty selfish for even saying that, you know, but something happened last night and I just kind of wanted to talk about it because I feel like I'm always pretty upbeat and positive when it comes to my transition and I'm that way because I don't want people to perceive my negativity or doubts as hesitation. So usually when I talk about my transition, I try to stay pretty positive and I try to educate the best I can. So I talked to my dad last night on the phone and we talked openly about my transition for the first time. You know, I think that he probably knew that I was having top surgery and he's probably known for quite a while, but he never mentioned anything and I never said anything to him. I just uh, I just knew he knew because I, I knew that people were sharing my campaign on Facebook and stuff like that. So I knew that he knew it was coming up. It was like an unsaid thing. So he called me last night. I guess, you know, he's always... He's always been pretty worried about me. I'm his baby. Um, so I guess he just wanted to talk to me before I had the surgery. But somehow we got on my transition. You know, eventually it switched. The, the conversation switched from everyday talk, which we don't talk as often, you know, anymore either. And that kind of upsets me too. But we switched from that to my transition. And everything he was saying to me was just pretty hurtful and I know that he wasn't trying to hurt me he's just very very uneducated about this he doesn't understand it at all he can't get his head around it you know he says that I will always be his daughter no matter what and I realized at that point that I'm not even educated enough to be able to help him understand or even help him kind of see what's going on and stuff I tried the best I could I understand it you know in my head but when I try to tell people about it it sounds more like a sales pitch than it does sincere feelings so I'm not very good at explaining it to people and helping them out and I realized that last night when I was talking to him. And I also, I'm, I'm not, I also, how do I want to say this? I'm trying to be very, very compassionate and understanding. And I'm not trying to force anybody to get on my side. I'm kind of trying to let people figure that out on, them all, on, on their own. And I think that that sometimes comes across like I don't care about them and their feelings because something that he said was that when I came out, I sent a mass email to all my family. I didn't want to leave anybody out. I didn't want to sit down with, because I have a lot of family. You know, my parents have been separated a couple times a piece and I didn't want to sit down with just one side of my family and tell them and not tell the other because I didn't want the other side to feel like you didn't come to us first. So I was trying to avoid that. So the reason that I came out the way I did and sent a mass email to my family was for that reason. And you know, he says that I didn't sit down with them and have the conversation with them and see how they felt about it. I just kind of said, this is how it is, you can get on board or not. And and that's not how I meant for it to come across at all. I also knew that when I came out, I wasn't armed with enough, you know, information to be able to come out to them in person and it it and and be able to back myself up. I knew because he did say on the phone last night too that if I would have sat down with him, things would be different as far as he doesn't feel like I would actually want to transition. And I knew it would be that way 
and and I was trying to avoid that because I wasn't I wasn't prepared for that. Another thing is that he blames himself, you know, a lot for this. He thinks that he did something wrong, you know. He he thought he did something wrong when I came out as gay. He didn't under. I hate saying that I came out as gay because it's. I never liked saying that, but he felt like then that it was his fault too. He felt like he failed me in some way, and he wondered what he did wrong. He said, you know, I love women. How could I have a gay child? And so now that it's this, you know, he he's seen these celebrities come out as transgender and transition, and he didn't understand how his kid could be that. And also... He doesn't understand why I can't just live as a masculine female. And, of course, I tried to explain to him, you know, that gender is a spectrum. And, and you know, he says, no, you're either male or female. You can't be just, you can't be in between anywhere. It is one or the other. And I just, all this stuff that he was saying, I knew what I wanted to say and how I wanted to respond. But I'm not armed I don't have enough information to be able to give that to him. And I just felt really sad for that. Because I, it's not his fault. He doesn't have anywhere to turn. He's, he's relying on me to help him. And even though the things he's saying hurt me, I know he didn't mean to. And I don't know. It just it really made me sad. And... You know, here I am, eight days away from something that is supposed to be the best time in my life. And I've been so excited. I tried to explain to him. I actually broke down and just bawled because he wasn't hearing me. Like, I was trying to tell him that I have been in the happiest the past few months than I have ever been in my entire life. Whether it looked like I was happy before. And I probably was happy at times in my life. But the happiness that I have felt lately... It's just something that I can't explain to anybody. And I the only thing I did was cry. Because I told him that I was trying to tell him that I'm the happiest I've ever been. And he wasn't hearing that. And it, it really, really hurt. Also, there's the God thing. You know, I believe in God. And I believe that God made me the way I am. But he says, you know, where was the mistake made? You know, if God didn't make a mistake and the doctor didn't make a mistake, well, where was the mistake made? And I get that. I didn't know how to explain that to him either. You know, I don't think that God made a mistake. I think that he made me exactly the way I am. And I think he made me that way because he knew that I was strong enough to do this and go through this. And... But how do you tell... You know, how do you tell your parent that? That... It just sounds like somebody has brainwashed you. When I'm sitting here saying it, it really sounds like somebody has brainwashed me. But those are my own feelings. You know, I don't know. So, that's where I'm at with it. I'm not, I'm sure that in a, you know, a couple of days I'll feel differently. And I'll be excited again for surgery. But right now, I'm just not. And it makes me feel very bad it makes me feel very selfish and stuff because I am very fortunate to be able to have this experience because a lot of people a lot of guys don't even get this and if they do it's way later in their transition and I just feel like I'm very fortunate to be able to be at this point so early in my transition and I know that I have a lot of support out there I have a ton of support people that love me for who I am and people that are behind me 100% and I think them every single day if not actually I I feel it like I feel very grateful to have those people in my life because they do mean a lot they they build me up and just it's incredible the amount of support I have it's just I felt like I needed to make this video because I think I talk a lot about support and um, how I have so much support and just how I'm happy and stuff like that and I never mention I, it might seem unreal, you know 
Because I never, maybe I don't seem relatable or something, because I never mentioned how I do actually have these problems like this too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. And I'm sure maybe I'll do a video before my surgery, but if not, then I will see you guys after my surgery. If you have any good resources or whatever that you can give to me that I can kind of better educate myself, even though I know, but maybe educate myself on how to handle, you know, your parents or whatever and help them, then that would be great. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. See you guys later.